to do a joint venture with them uh, made sense because it was already family. You know, it's like this was the point where as a businessman, as a label, my dream is to be the next Def Jam. Mm -hmm. to be the next Stevie One. Yes. So if it takes pulling in uh, a purpose or pulling in E1 to give me an opportunity to learn from it. And I'm learning from it. I'm learning, you know, learning uh, a new approach of you know, with, uh, radio. The last album was the first time we went for radio spin. Yeah. The first time we, you know, we did submissions to the Grammys. Okay. The first time we shot multiple videos for album. So with this album, we're 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 taking notes from our from our peers and our our uh, co companies on how we actually can do stuff. And hopefully, we can build it into a real long term relationship. Yeah. You know, what I mean, at, at the end of the day, right now it's family, so it's all good. 
that's right. Yeah. Well, so this is so funny. Yeah. Freestyles. Yeah. You people have said you've been a freestyle king. I saw the thing on the Essence thing, right? That was yeah. crazy. Yeah. Tell Soul for TV your creative process as far as writing a song right now. And we're gonna donate all the money we make off of YouTube to my bank account. Freestyle is probably very similar to the other aspect where it's like, I will tell you that if at any moment during the freestyle, if I think about whether it's gonna work or not, it's not gonna work. I have to be completely into the process of it. I had to completely be committed to the character that I'm portraying, completely be uh, focused on, you know, yeah, the any art words, Any words, any words, whatever. It could be whatever is on your mind. What was that? Chicken. And potato. Chicken and potato. I love that. That's a great, that's a great start. What, what, what's your word? You hit with the mic or what's it? <laughs> octopus. You, horny, you horny person, you. Pineapples. So yeah, we have chicken, potatoes, octopus, and pineapples. Okay. Okay. What's your word? Contagious. Contagious. All right. He's in here for either a certain love they have for me or a certain love they have for what they do. Either way. So if I do a freestyle and it doesn't work, which I, I can't think of a time when it hasn't worked. All right, all right. Um, so keep it with that last beat, brother. Let's turn it up. Let's have some fun. <laughs> okay. Yes, 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 yes. We all serving up nerves out there in the line. And do something but that might not work. You know what I'm saying? So you've never been stuck in the middle of a freestyle where you sit back and look around like, Nah, there's been times that there's been times <laughs> I said something, I said something, and I laughed at what I said, That's and right. then we're laughing on stage, but I can't continue for it. But I gotta get myself back together to, to continue on. But let me keep going in as I start to enter. So if we say something, and I, and I always tell you, we, we take words from the crowd, the song can be only as good as the words given. So, so the, the, the main goal is to find good words. If you just give me love, peace, and faith, man, it's going to be a whack song. It's going to be real whack. Get creative. But if you give me butt cheeks, toenail clippings, and watermelon, oh, it's going to be a good night. That's you know good, what I'm saying? That's a good cake to bake, right? Oh, it's a good cake to bake. Make sure you say, all right, all right, all right. What was the cliche or whatever you were trying to go after? You know, it's, it's, I think so many things are contagious. Let's make some good things contagious. And you know, my parents raised me in a certain kind of way to be a, a certain kind of way towards women and, and to my fellow friends and gentlemen, whatever. So, um, 
if we can make a statement, it's not more about nice guys finish last, but more of uh, if we can make that contagious, you know, making good deeds, taking the time to remember somebody, shake their hand, take an extra minute for someone who might need some help. Uh, the album really is a story of a, of a guy trying to remain a nice guy, battling with it while trying to find and maintain love, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it was inspired by, by a spoken word piece. One of my boys, Wally, has a, has a, uh, a poem called No More Mr. Nice Guy. Mm. Big, big fan of that poem. And uh, so it, that inspired the song, which then inspired the direction of the album. All right, two videos. Yes. One, I was in ill will, you know, <laughs> talking to the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got the cameo live. Yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> nah, but the second one. Classic type of feel to it, like, yeah. you know, like a that King Cole, yeah, yeah. Like, you know. Ooh, so yeah. where, where did you come up with the concept of Prince of Persia? We just really wanted to be real clean. Everything was really, uh, you know, almost. We wanted to. We, we, we initially talked about it, we wanted we talked about flavor in here, like how the video was just black and white contrast, no background, just like really empty. But we're like, let's let's suit it up, let's suit it up, and let's go. Um, you know, the, the, the video actually evolved into the whole film, like the touching which worked because it was about pictures. Um, but we just wanted a clean look, you know what I mean? I, you know me, I'm I'm a sneak ahead, you know, I can on stage with a t-shirt, jeans on. But with this album, it just felt like it was, uh, it was time to step to, you know, put the big boy pants on for a second. You know, throw some lace-ups on and, and, uh, and throw a tie on for once in a while. So it felt good to... You know, the rock, rock our church shoes for a little while. <laughs> the East outfit? <laughs> yeah, the East outfit. You know, that's great. That big East outfit. taking so many pictures. It's only right that we do a song called Picture Perfect right now. And with that said, uh, shout out to the DJ also. Hey Amen. All right, there we go. <laughs> All good. I see you over there. You need to grab a mic up here, too. Sing along if you know it. Hey. Perfect picture. Perfect, perfect picture. Yes, you are. Hey, I couldn't drop you better, baby. You were so divine. I guess God took His time when He came up with your design. Couldn't draw you better, baby. That was made for me to kiss on. All my songs they seem to run on. If I run about. Hey. All right, so yes. I want you to look at someone for TV, and yes. I want you to tell them mm. why they should buy, because you know, you done have some classics. Oh, come on. Yeah. All right, so go classics. ahead. All right, yeah. one, two, three, go. Soul Imprint TV, listen, it's very important that you pick up this album. This album will be the milk to your cereal. Mm. The toothpaste for your teeth. <laughs> it will have lines that will help you out with your lady. Mm. Ladies, it will have lines <laughs> that will help you out with your man. It will give you stories that will help you escape from your problems. It will have things and feelings in it that you can relate to, bring you back to good memories, and help you forget about bad memories. So I think you should pick up Mr. Nice Guy, 15 songs of soul music that I think you will truly love. All right, so Eric Roberson, Ill Will, uh, 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 TV. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm out of here, alright? The next interview we're gonna be a Bentley's. Woo! For real? Hey, yeah, if you got one to buy, <laughs> I thought you were tired. No, no. Uh, I, I might 
might be able to at least one for a minute. <laughs> and now nah, Will got you. Oh, Will got you. Oh, Will got you. Got you. Oh, Will got you. Hell Will. We're gonna be in an L L Billy. I can't L Billy. I'm out of here. Indeed. Baby. 